Hi everybody, RMEP here for Explorminate, and welcome back to my ongoing Let's Play of Stellaris 2.0 with the expansion Apocalypse. Now here we are, we've got yet another contact being made. This is our pre -made, one of our pre mates that we had from our four members, the Bakathi Hegemony. What do they have to say? Uh, greetings, I'm the, I am the honored to have been chosen by Chairman Darmal to represent the Bakathi hegemony and all diplomatic dealings with your fascinating species. We thrive to unlock the potential of technology, a goal that we, help, we hope uh, to find equally worthwhile. Well, we are delighted to meet you. So the uh, Bakathi hegemony, um, if I believe I remember correctly, they were a race that grew up on a Arctic type planet. It definitely symbolizes their background. And they quickly developed robotics to not help them deal with the difficulties of their home world for not only um, for uh, basic, you know, labor type purposes, but eventually warfare. And as they became one centralized government, they became masters of scientific um, exploration. So they got in research speed and robot upkeep, and of course there's Xenophiles, so they're interested, of course, in what we have to say as an alien race. Now, where are they? Uh, oh, here they are. Oh, this is kind of really bright. You couldn't even see them. They're up in the northeastern quadrant. It looks like they've got two worm. <laughs> I hope these wormholes. This is hilarious, everybody. I hope you see this. The Explorinations are giggling as they got a wormhole that I'm assuming is going to be connected right beside each other. So that is, that's map generation for you. But they also got a gateway, so that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, so, um, and of course we got our Enterprise. Where's my Enterprise? It's not there. There she is, okay. And our Enterprise is going to walk around and see who else is up for grabs. I am also getting a another colony on the go, so that should be good news. Initiating communications. I've got some communications here. It looks like the Sputnik Covenant wants to worry about a word of aggression and a non-aggression pack. I will agree to a non-aggression pack. And so is the Bakathi hegemony. Now this is really interesting, and one of the things that I think is a big oversight by the developers in this case, I actually can't go to war with any of them. So why would you want to have a... Why would you want to have um, a non-aggression pact with me? Because as it stands right now, the only time you can go to war with somebody is if you have a connecting starbase or um, hyperlane with someone. So an example would be, I'm going to go to the Titanic spread. I can declare them a rival or declare war on them because I have a connecting piece. Now let's say I were to go to the um, Synthoid Supervisors, right? I can't do any of that. I can't declare war on them. Oh, it's because we have our non-aggression pack. How about these guys? Oh, I can declare war because we share a hyperspace. Um, how about the network? Oh, I can declare war. No, I can't, apparently. I guess maybe I could have if I had the ability to... I can't have any claims on their system. Now this is interesting. I thought that you couldn't declare war unless... Oh, I see. So yeah, I basically can't. Uh, the only thing I might be able to do is if had I gone to the traditions tree, let's see here, and taken supremacy, I would be able... No, correction, domination. It unlocks being um, demanding vassalization and tribute. Um, but I can't make any claims on his systems because they're not bordered to mine, which kind of makes sense. I can't declare them a rival because they're not they don't have borders of mine, which means that they have to have an interconnecting hyperspace. And the only way I would be able to declare war with them is if I took that tree. So it's it's one of those quirky design decisions that I I don't know if it really makes sense. But I just kinda wanna illustrate that if we were going to show off combat in the game, the only real choice, because we've got a defensive pack with the uh Solarians, Synthoid Supervisors we get a, a non aggression pact, would be the Lagan choose compact or the titanic spread so it's i kind of find it funny that if we don't share a border what's the point of having a non-aggression pact besides what maybe building a little bit of trust i guess it's a weird design decision i don't necessarily agree with it but we shall see now speaking of my fleet 
because I was kind of looking over here. We've got spiritualistic and mil uh, um, fanatic mit um, militarists. They're um, they're wary of me, and they're starting to get a rather they have a superior fleet power. So considering my mineral output, I think it's time that we make a second fleet. So we're going to go back to our trusty fleet manager, and we're going to create a new fleet. What do we have here? Okay, that's being built right now, so we're good. My fleet's being built, so we're we're deliberately making a second fleet as it stands. Oops, that's not good. We're going to go down with you, I think. Yes. Okay. And while we're at it, I've got this ocean world right here. Seems like a good opportunity. Where's my colony ship going? Oh, yeah, it's going all back to this planet. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to get new technology. I'm going to take my fleet of 1.8 thousand, which is sitting right here at the NASA rock station. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to claim this system here because I want that um, that planet, that 21 ocean. Because I do believe that our we have should have no problems um, with ocean habitat. Yep, 60%. We should be good to go. So in order to do that, I'm going to take you over here. My science ship, where are you going? Oh yeah, it's the Enterprise, you're not doing anything. And I'm going to bring you over here. And once they arrive, we're going to take out and clear this void cloud. Should have no problems at that point. And other than that, we are continuing on taking systems as we see fit. It's one of the things... Ooh, in limbo. The vault is a tomb for hopeful immortals. Okay, I think we're going to download the paddle, uh, neural patterns. We found an alien race that basically we're going to be, you know, destroyed, I guess. Or something happened in terms of some type of extinction. And um, instead, what we did, it does is we found them all kind of in like a hyperspace. But unfortunately, like all of their bodies dead. But they saved their neural patterns in a giant data bank. And that uh, event is actually going to perhaps lead to something a little bit later on, but we save their neural patterns for quote-unquote later. So, not too sure how much more. Oh, what do we got here? It's Continental World 14. We should probably take that too while we're at it. Construction complete. I've gotten so used to... Um, ooh, what's this? Wow. That is a, quite the system. I'm guessing this is, what, a pirate fleet of some type? Yeah. <laughs> Look how many fleets they made out of, like, solid rock. Uh, it's not applicable. What do we got here? Minerals for communications with others? I agree to that. Technology discovered. By a level, finally. Oh, we found a... Oh, this is going to be good for Echo. If, uh, Echo, if you're watching, you're going to be a happy man because of this. Um, we don't really need a star base. Yeah, we're going to go centralization. The Korvlak Ku Cornet, Concordate. It is a xenophile and fanatic spiritualist. It's pleased to meet you. And where are you? Oh, okay, you're northern part of the map. Perfect. So we're discovering all different types of races, which is good news. Yeah, it's one of the changes that I've definitely noticed that um, it, between 1.9 and 2.0 is that uh, you used to be rather... What is this here? The Yatarin Star Authority. We didn't enter them into the picture. That's odd. They are an authoritarian militarist and a cute butterfly to match. Uh, I'm Greetings from Marshall... Ooh, I'll never get that one right. The undisputed ruler of the Yatarian Star Authority. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs. And perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your home planet. Where are they located? Survey complete. That is odd. Where are they located? Let's find them on the... Um, the old, the old uh, communication log here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they're a... 
their protectorate. Where would they be located? Oh, they're right at the edge there. Oh, they must have just um, popped up. They must have been a, a, a smaller empire and got into uh, to discover faster than light research. Welcome to the party, pal. Double points if you can guess what movie that's from. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? So again, you know, we're 50 years into the game and still haven't kind of rubbed borders. We still got opportunities to kind of go everywhere. Well, it looks like uh, the Spucklecks are going for egalitarian. They're adding that to their ethics pile. So the spiritualist, xenophile, and egalitarian. Wow, we're gonna. Oh, look at this! Er, we got something here. The raiders are saying hi, human uh, dwarfs. Anyway, we come to visit your systems. We save you from growing too rich and fat. Yes, unless you think there's a reason we should not make a good exploration stew. Offer tribute: five hundred minerals. How about 500 energy? 500 food? I will give you 500 energy. You're smart. So we paid them off. I wasn't interested in a battle with them. I'm still building my fleet. Uh, I'm going to offer you a migration. And he seems like he... And it looks like we're good to go. Wow, I am teeming with monies. Okay, we'll go. Our ship's almost there. I should probably build another... Starbase. I think I'll do that after this one's built. It's always good to have a starbase on the eastern, on the eastern front. Oh, I can actually upgrade my star holds, and that's oversight by me. I probably should have been paying a little bit more attention to these lovely icons that are informing me of what I can and can't do. That puts it a little bit closer to home. What else we got? Oh, yeah, we got some upgrades we can go with. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, what's this here? He's got a fleet. Where is he going? Just doing his rounds? Makes me a little bit nervous that... Um, okay, he's equivalent. So we've pretty much matched up with him. So we've got two fleets. Let's see what our fleet manager has to say. He's got 16 and 7. I want That's what I want. 16 and I want 7. Kind of matching my command limit. That's odd. Let's do it that way. How much is that going to cost? 2000 sounds like a plan to me. Oh, that is a real easy way to get your fleet up and running. That's great, actually. Looks like we've got an election on the way. Construction complete. Okay. Log updated. I guess there's no real reason for us not to keep going down here. The only thing that's uh, bothersome is that, of course, the malice is going to start catching up to me. The techn uh, The... Research progress is hindered by your borders. I've, I've mentioned that a couple times. Anyway, let's get our new fleet going and clear out the system. Oh yeah, we built a sector, didn't we? How's he doing? Well, it looks like he's doing actually pretty good. I think I'm going to take a little bit of energy from you. The Enterprise has been finding enemies, and then, and of course, oh, that's the reason why it's uh, alien space stations have completely blocked off this area. Well, our governor has died. That's a shame. I will give you a 25 year lifespan. That sounds like a good plan to me. Wasn't the best choices. And look at this ice mania the Ice Machine Empire, way up in the northeastern corner. Organic vermin detected. Your infestation, uh, infestation of this galaxy cannot be permitted to continue. Not a nice guy. Don't stand in our way. Ice made it. Look how many planets this guys have. Oh, you know what? That's the best part about having a machine empire. You can do anything you want. I'm kind of curious what we have. Oh, I guess we're equivalent all the way around. Which is kind of shocking. I thought that he'd have a huge technological advantage of me. Looks like he's got quite a few... Quite a few going on there. Okay, so now that our fleet's here, let's see if them engage. Oh boy, this is actually a little bit of a tougher fight than I thought. Good to go. Uh, reinf wow, that took 1600 to reinforce? Damn. Okay, science ship, get in there. 
the only reason I did it, um, I know, survey the system, then research, and then I want to move my construction ship down there. Just because you never know if the um, Solarians are going to want to take that juicy little target. Boy, oh boy, it sure seems like um, the upkeep for ships has gone way up. You can tell at the beginning I almost had, I believe, what, like 110 per tick? It's gone down to 88. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got some contact establishments from the, the Retherian Republic colonies. Hmm. He's xenophobic and a pacifist. Doesn't look like he'll be much trouble to us. All right, pleased to meet you. Um... Where are you located? I don't see you anywhere. Let's check out where the contact. Could it be another uh, smaller race, perhaps? It's got two planets. Let's see what they look like. Oh, okay. There they are. Sandwiched in between. Okay, that's a good little... That's a good buffer zone. Now let's see if we can contact the Marauders. You get a rating? Nah, nah. You know why? Because I have no rivals. I can't do it against anybody. I can't, like... Even though I might not like these guys, I can't... Uh, that's, that's, that's disappointing. I should be able to bribe anybody. Why would I do it against my rivals? I would be the most obvious choice. I'd love to be able to contact the Marauders and have them completely lay waste to an enemy I see as a threat, but I want to do it, you know, on the sly. Yes. Technology discovered. Wow. Look at this. The Trappist system. That's hilarious, of course, because we know that the real system, the real Trappist system, ended up having seven planets, but they actually instituted three. Wow. It's too bad they're not... It's good for a, um, a colony later on, though. Okay, we've got swarm missiles. That's good. I want to want a cruiser for sure. Get my, my fleets up to good standing. Initiating communication. A research agreement. He's offering 23, and oh, he, we're not, we're like 15. But he wants 160 minerals. That seems fine to me. Solarians, uh, Sotherian, sorry, are uh, our friends. So we're going to take the opportunity to learn from their technological advancements. Come on now. All right. So we're kind of getting of um, an idea of how the entire landscape of the of the game is going to play out. Having two fanatic um, type um, races, empires that can't do any diplomacy on the opposite ends, does help out things. It would have been nice to see those two go right at it, though. We're gonna build no can't build now post. I think we're going to sleek down and get this Trappist. I just cannot see it um, not being worth our while. Oh, wow, we got a war. I think this is the first one between the two empires. We've got it between the internal domination of Zul and the Tacky Tour Supremacy. They've got a lot of different interconnecting hyperlanes. I would wonder if, which one of these guys would be interested in giving me some oops no you probably don't want to give me that how about a active active sensor link and i will give you some energy credits because you're going to need it and you're going to war nope apparently you don't want that how about some minerals yeah there you go Construction complete. oh wow gave me quite what is this well hello mr space dragon how are you Definitely open that border. So at least with this way we can kind of see how half the battle is going to go. So it looks like we have gotten... Oh, we're going to have to take care of our, our situation when it comes to our planets. Because I actually have been colonizing planets. And I am past my cap. Which is fine by me. Because as it stands right now, the, the amount of malice that you get for planets is far less. So it's actually very much an encouraging you to just colonize everything you can as quickly as you can. Speaking of which, we might as well start popping down some science, baby. Survey complete. Okay, survey's complete. There we go. Now we can do this. And I can 
research that. Oop, what am I doing? No, that's not good. Okay. How was my fleets compared to this guy? Because I think what I'm... Oh, here we go. Pirates. Where are we? Okay, that's actually not too far from us. So we will take our fleet and see what we're up against. Oh, actually, are they going to attack the pirates? Oh, come on. I understand that the pirates have to pop up, but do you think that they would take this juicy opportunity and not just go straight for mine? Uh, all right, I get it. Where are you? I'm here. This is why having two fleets is very important. Construction complete. Oh, it looks like we've got uh, yet another marauder. Quite a few marauders around. One, two. Is this the two? Yeah, this is the two. I guess that's not so bad. Anyway, like I was saying, I think what I'll do is I'm going to... What, uh, 79, 18? Ooh, that's a bit of a risk. What I think I'm going to do is see um, if next game we can't get into a conflict, just to show what the conflict um, actually goes a little bit like. One of the frustrations we're having, though, with uh, when it comes to warfare is the exhaustion system has not has got is rough around the edges to say the very least and it's frustrating because we had dealt with so long with Stellaris with uh, the war score system that when if you're new to Stellaris and you're like oh what's the war score system I'm, I'm hoping that you've played a little bit of um, of Stellaris prior to the patch 1.6 but or correction uh, 2.0 but essentially the war score system was not very well thought out for quite some time and took um, until the re release of Utopia and patch. Okay, I want you to go back. Is that full strength? It's full strength, but it says that I... See, this is another thing. I got two out of seven um, classes. It says, my f fleet is at full strength. It's not. I just can't afford that. It's weird. Oh, uh, well. Now, I read in the comment section that in the f uh, once you select a fleet, there's a button that can tell you how to... Order the fleet. Return. Okay, so essentially what this should happen is I got told that if this button says return to home base, it does. So let's hope that's the case. Thank you, by the way, in the comment section below about that. I actually didn't know. Earlier in the uh, Let's Play, I was actually complaining about that. Uh, I couldn't have a button that would return me to my home base. I don't want to go to the nearest base, but just home base. So hopefully that works out, because I would like a button just to be able to click that. It would have been awesome. Oh, I see. The fleet's full. It's because I'm, I took the fleet that is... You can see here the ships are actually trying to make its way over there. That's fine. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to take my other fleet, I guess, and take care of that star base. Okay, so anyway, like I was kind of, I kind of got dethroned a little bit there. Um, I think what I'm going to do in the next episode is we're going to take a look if we can take a chunk out of the Ligaian Shuz Compact. Now, if there is any systems, perhaps, that we would like, I mean, maybe a planet or two, you know, I know that Explormination is all about diplomacy, but we've heard rumors, of course, that the honor-bound warriors of the Spiritualists have been performing atrocities against their people. People that deserve to be free. And it's us to, up to us, as the Explormination and our allies, to see that no being is harmed and that every being has freedom. And locked under an oppressive religious background, we shall make sure... That those people have all the freedoms that they need. In the meantime, I really don't have to worry too much about any type of conflict. So I'm not going to. In the meantime, let's see what this uh, how this war is coming along. Is there any conflict? It looks, I wonder how this is going to go. 
besieging enemy station. Well, pretty good. It's really interesting to watch the um, the AI battle each other. So it looks like they're going out several locations. So unfortunately, I don't have. I do not have uh, any type of sensor range inside of. Who are you here? Uh, inside of their space, so it would be just curious to see how the outcome come uh, of this, because of course the new war exhaustion system, either that battle is going to go by very quickly and nothing's going to exchange hands, or it will and, and, and someone will have lucked out. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game off camera, and we're going to make the preparations to start our own first war and see how it all plays out. Show you guys what war is like in 2.0, and hopefully we'll luck out and war exhaustion won't be uh, a hindrance, because it has been in games that I'm playing off camera. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been um, Army P for Explore Minute, and make sure you guys watch the next episode when we make the first preparations to go to war.